Hey Stingrays, in this video I'm going to show you how to navigate a college website and specifically how to figure out the information you would need to know to get yourself organized in the application process. So starting with UNF, and I'll actually back up and go back to the home page. So unf.edu, every university is going to have a very similar layout to what you see here. There will be a landing page with a uh, toolbar across the top with the different pieces of information or aspects of the university. And as an applicant, you are interested, um, some schools will have it labeled as admissions and UNF and other schools I've seen have it listed as prospective students. So when we hover over this, we get a drop down of information and a lot of the things we may wanna know are here. If we check out the apply now, we'll see how to begin your application. So UNF has what's called an institutional application, meaning they have their own in-house application that's done directly through them, uh, but they also will take applications from the Common App. And if we take a look at maybe some more information that's available to you here under this apply tab, um, I'm gonna direct your attention over here to admissions information for freshmen. So regardless of whether this can get confusing for students, what type of student they are, especially if you have already taken some dual enrollment classes, some students think that maybe that puts them in this transfer category, but you are a first time first year student, which puts you in the freshman um, application pool. So if we click on freshmen, this gives us all the freshman specific information. So the deadlines, how to apply, the things, the items you're going to need to do and complete or send in, the GPA and test requirements, what the mid ranges are for the students for being accepted, um, GPA, SAT and ACT, as well as course requirements. So the number of credits in each of the subject areas taken in high school that you will need to have on your transcript to be eligible to apply to that college. The good news is that high school, require, high school diploma requirements in Duval County align to the requirements for state university systems. And so generally speaking, uh, you won't be in, in much trouble here. These are the things that are required to earn your diploma anyhow. Some additional information um, that might be helpful to know is when will you hear a decision? When will you know and, and how can you appeal the process if you need to? So that's UNF. Let's take a look maybe at uh, one, one more. So here's Florida State University. Again, a similar landing page with this information up at the top and Florida State has it labeled as admissions. That's what we're looking for here, admissions. And again, you're a first year student, a freshman student, so this is the information that you would want to click on. And it brings you to this page with all of the application information, as well as they've got a lot of additional uh, resources here, but how to apply and so this would give you information. They take the Common App. They have an institutional app as well. Coalition. Deadlines. This is very, very important information. If you're a senior, we've got to know the deadlines. And then what they're looking for. So just like with UNF, they are posting and making available to you the mid-range GPAs and test scores of the students who were accepted, maybe even what types of classes they took. And they've got information about how will you know, when will you be able to expect a decision. And so you could do this similar process across any university you may be interested in. And we've got a resource on our school website. We'll also be talking about it in another video um, that you can use to get yourself organized and create a checklist all on one page of the different 
post-secondary institutions you may be applying to and keeping yourself organized in terms of deadlines and what things need to be done to complete that application packet and make yourself a very handy checklist. So check that video out and thanks for watching.